The Yankees right now, are they better than the Orioles? Probably not. Are they better than the Astros? Just about there. So they're, they're about even. But are they better than the Rangers? That's tough. It, it depends on how. I mean, I mean I'm the, gonna go. The, I mean, you Rangers gotta go. Pitching, the Rangers pitching right now. That's the biggest question. Here's the, I don't know. Do you about want to that. know what the yeah, but do you want to know what the difference is? It's one thing. It's Bruce Bochy against Aaron Boone. That's where it lines up, and that's so, where Bochy right. will outsmart. Nine, no, nine, you say nine, the Rangers nine, no pitching. The Rangers didn't have they, they lost to Grom and Scherzer. They had so Jordan we'll Montgomery and Nathan Avaldi, a two man rotation pretty much, and they still won the World Series. Yankees under over ninety wins. Under over ninety, I would say over. I think they'll get about nine between ninety two to ninety four. I think it's fair. So then, if if that, and then he says, and then Frankie thinks Toronto's better than the Yankees. I don't know about that. The starting pitcher for Toronto is a problem. He thinks under ninety for the Yankees. He hates all New York teams. He's and he's a New York fan. I can understand Frankie's point. Maybe no, 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 no. third place because Manoa. You, you, you added Manoa. You added Soto. Hold on, he just said Manoa. Is the best Manoa in single A. Manoa maybe. in not even in single A he sucked. Now I hope you really are trolling because if you're not, then that's that's a problem. There are a lot of question marks with that Yankee lineup. You have Lemayu. Is he going to come back healthy and be the hitting machine he can be? Is Rizzo going to come back pre concussion to be Rizzo? Yeah, but again? that's the thing. You're doing all these what ifs again. But that's the Yankees shouldn't have these exactly, what ifs. Do the Orioles bingo. have what ifs? I have a few. Where a few? Where? Where do the Orioles have what ifs? Where are their what ifs? Where are the Rangers what ifs? Where are the Astros what ifs? I don't think they have that. Bullpen. For who? Orioles. No. The Orioles, I don't think, have what if. I think they filled the what if with Burns. Yeah, but after Burns, Grayson Rodriguez is gonna be is he gonna show back to be I think the thing half? about the Orioles is, is, is he gonna be, you know, second half Grayson? Well the thing about the Orioles is they could shorten the game. You also have John Means. Is John, and also is John Means gonna be healthy. Hold on enough now. For a and, and this is where you the Astros did what they did. The Astros getting Hater ginormous for that team because now you have Hater can pitch two innings, Presley can pitch two innings. You completely, completely shorten the game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. can Hater pitch two innings? Yeah, if he wants to. But I don't know, he can he though? Yes. Isn't, isn't it part of his? You know, one one inning and and when I want to. Or is that at the window again? No, I no. I think he's motivated. It's unfortunate with the way he is, but he's motivated and everything of that nature. It's a matter of you're still now Verlander's going to be out for a bit, but again, you still have with in regards to Houston, they still have their their two aces, right? All right, so wait, you just put the Yankees at ninety wins. Houston over under ninety five wins. No, I would say they're probably around the same as the Yankees. Okay, Baltimore over under ninety five wins. Over over a hundred wins. Possibly yes. Bur- because Burns, yeah. Now listen, they lost the closer. I get it, but he should be back at some point this year. After Burns, who else do you trust in that rotation? It showed last year. Who who do you trust in the rotation? It showed last year. John Means is back. Is he going to be healthy for a full year? They had Wells and Bradish too. Yeah, the nice Kyle. rotation. Kyle Bradish is very good. Tyler, the guy that Thank they, you. Tyler Wells. Tyler Wells, the same pitcher that they demoted and put in back down. In Well, now they're not going to do that this year. Bradish is good. I like Rodriguez too, by the way. Yeah, but that's the thing, not fully. To me, for that Bradish. Whole year. Bradish is the big one, and let me tell you something. You now have a one-two punch with Burns and Bradish. That's, that's huge. Crazy. And and now listen, they lost. Um, what's the closer's name? Bautista. They mm-hmm. lost. Who will be back at some point this year? You hope Kimbrel can give you a little something before he comes back. You're hoping Kimbrel could give you something before he comes back. Listen, but isn't this the same Josh that was bashing him for his playoff run and he's washed? Yeah, but he's not going to be terrible. the. Yeah, but he's not going to be the closer in the playoffs. It's going to be Bautista that's the closer in the playoffs. It's not going to be him. The Phillies are also known for ruining good relief pitchers. Thank you. The <laughs> Phillies haven't had a good relief pitcher since Brad Lidge. Lights out, Lidge. The Orioles have a. Nice rotation. There's a reason why they had to get Burns. I know. That rotation was not. Wells is good. Him. Burns is good. Bradish has had a great year last year. Those are your three, top three guys right there is Burns, Bradish, and Wells. That's, I think, a pretty formidable rotation. Not to mention that that bullpen for Baltimore is legit. Not to mention the lineup for them. Rutschman. I mean, you want me to go Henderson. Santander, Mount Castle. They'll be a good team. They're going to bring up Holiday at some point. Mm-hmm. He's going to thrive. You know, like I said, you said Henderson as well. And then you look at the outfit. Even, and and by the way, they had a good year last year. You hope Mullins comes back to what he was. If right. Cedric Mullins gets back to what he was, that's a coup. 